this is a total nonsense story, a totally da daily mail confection. You know, that the BBC is a business. It's a £5 billion pound business. It does audience research. It does market research. All businesses do audience research. All businesses do market research. Tim Davy was, in a previous life, the marketing director of Pepsi-Cola. He knows what audience research is. He knows what market research is. That's why, he, that's why he's asked for it. And in any case, by law, the BBC has, has to consult its audiences and find out what they want by, 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 the, by the charter. So um, you know, total and utter confection and all the stuff about technical jargon. Technical jargon is called market research. This is a big contract. And this is this is a contract for not just domestic but international audiences. I haven't even mean, spoken yet. I haven't even asked you a oh, question. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, there we go. I mean, the, the, you know, the, the Daily Mail should be ashamed of running this story. It's a confection. Can I um, can I say that I agree with you that businesses do um, market research, but I, I, I need you to um, explain, well, let me explain something to you, John. Um, we all know there is intense problems, the length and breadth of this country in terms of this cost of living crisis. It started with fuel, electricity, gas, whatever. Um, I think the BBC's problems, which have got greater over the years, um, a lot of people consider them... Uh, they lean in one direction, fine, but it's a public service broadcaster. You can say that we are leaning in a certain direction. There's no self-justification. I think the biggest problem the BBC has and why people would jump on a story like this, whether it's 100% factually true or not, John, is that people are fed up of the BBC. You, you talk it a successful business. It's set up by the taxpayers' money. And the taxpayers of this country seemingly do not have any control or any say over the, the stuff that the BBC puts out. Some very good stuff, but that is me giving you the other side of the coin. And I think because of that resentment, it leads them to writing stories about this. That's what I'd say. Yeah, I mean, let, 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 let's have some facts, Jeremy. Uh, the, the chairman of the BBC governor, the board of government, is a Tory. He, he's Richie Sunak's friend. The, the director general of the BBC is a recovering Tory. He was a Tory in a previous life. You know, and, and the BBC board of management... Is stuffed with Tories. So Do you, you not know, think that some of the output is essentially uh, left wing in in its entirety? I, I, think, I, I think one of the things Tim has done, Tim Davy has done, is is stress impartiality, okay. and people believe and trust the BBC. And, you know, it, it's a public broadcast. It's not a state broadcast. It's not taxpayer money. It's public money. If, if, if you say that the majority of the country trusts and believes the BBC, why do you think these sorts of these sorts of stories, the one today that they're spending 50 million, you've made the point it's for uh, for market research and businesses will spend that. If you if you believe that the people trust and believe the BBC, why do you think there's such an outcry? Why is such an outcry on the, the licence fee? What about pensioners paying their licence fees? Why uh, uh, why is that irrelevant? Why do, why do people go to the BBC in times like COVID? Why do people go to the BBC on the Ukraine war? The, the BBC has had a superb Ukraine war. If you want to find out what's happening in the war in Ukraine, switch on the 6 o'clock news, switch on the 10 o'clock news. The, the, the BBC is reporting that. Has Netflix got any correspondence to Kiev? I'm not, to, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about it. Uh, you, you know, where's the news on Netflix? Do you believe where, where, that the BBC justifies the licence fee and its in its existence with the output it, it, it has at the absolutely, moment. Absolutely, absolutely, 100%. But you understand, sir, that the majority of British people don't anymore. Well, hang on, £159.50. You know, um, my son was here yesterday. He spends £100 a month on a Sky subscription alone. You know, what do people spend on Netflix? You know, it, it, uh, put, put it all in context. Come on, for 160 quid a month, you get TV, radio, online, the whole lot. And, you know, I, I, I think it's total value for money. You think it's total value for money, and I get that, and each of us have a different opinion. I suppose I've never really questioned it until the outcry recently. What about pensioners? Why should they pay £160? Why, why is this such a problem for the BBC? So why doesn't Netflix give them free licences? Why have you mentioned not? Netflix four times? You're a public service broadcaster. I know, but the, 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 not endorsed. No, 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 but you are a public service broadcaster who should justify to the people who pay, not you, but the BBC's wages. That's the issue here. Netflix, any subscriber, ITV, any any commercial station, John, you know this, survives only on its figures because if it doesn't get results, people do not buy adverts and nobody gets paid. People find it increasingly difficult to people hear people like Gary Lineker on £2 million a year 
pontificating on left-wing politics because that's what he thinks he should be doing. That's going to annoy people, not the political view, but the fact that we're paying his salary. Do you not understand that? I, I, I do understand that, but, you know, the, the BBC gets in the net. What do people on commercial t TV get in salaries? How much were you paid when you worked for ITV, Jeremy? Sorry? What was your salary? You want to declare it? Well, 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 yeah, the BBC but that's not a public yeah. service broadcaster. Come ITV on. survived yeah, 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 on its yeah. results. Come on. Yes, it is. ITV is a public service broadcaster. So is Channel 4, so is Channel 5. But nobody ever reveals their salary. Do you do feel they? that the BBC is given a hard time, John? I do. Why? I do. And why, saying, why do you think uh, it's given a bad, a hard time? It's a, it's a national broadcast, you know. It, it's, 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 a good, it's a good horse to beat, you know. And it's been there for 100 years. But believe me, I, I've, just, I've just read the history of the, BBC, the last 100 years of the BBC, and it has done superb work in, in, in wars, in time. And now, in, in this war, switch on the 6 o'clock news, switch on the 10 o'clock news, switch on... New, new, switch a lot news. of people... A, a lot of people are saying that you're out of touch. Your comments do not... Uh, show that well, you understand what the British public want. Well, there, 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 there we go. In a, uh, 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 I may be in touch with, with a large majority of people. BBC surveys tell you that the public actually likes the BBC, uh, as indeed, well, why do they go to the BBC? What do you say, though, just I've, to finish? What, what do you say about the fact that whether it's a public service broadcaster or not, you've thrown stuff at Netflix, ITV and everybody else. Why should the BBC, funded by the British taxpayer, licensed fee public, why, all right, why shouldn't they more than, have to justify more what they put out. Why not? The BBC, the BBC is a totally transparent organisation. I mean, the fact that this, this figure is out there, the fact the salaries are out there. Uh, why, why, why doesn't ITV, why doesn't Channel 4, why doesn't everybody else uh, be much more transparent? I think, How Tim Davy, I, I think that Tim Davy will be very proud of you and your honesty and your integrity in sticking up for him. But I think there is an acknowledgement, or has to be an acknowledgement, that what you're saying is wrong, sir. The majority of British people do not support the BBC. They I, actually I, find it biased, non-self-justificating and out of touch. And I think that's really relevant. Where's your evidence, Jeremy? That's an opinion, sir, but I think you'll find it shared oh, wait, wait, by many, wait, wait, many, wait, many, wait, many, many people. Where's your evidence? Where's the facts? Ask people. Ask people. What? Ask people who ring... Who, who, who ring do, you know I do you know what I love, John? Do you know what I love? And I mean this. This is, this is not a commercial broadcasting. This is a fact. I do have to go to a break. Sadly, we have to do that. But I will tell you, I love the fact that there are different arguments. You have yours, I have mine. We'll let the people listening decide. We're thanking you for coming on. John Mayer, former BBC producer on Talk TV Drive.